Hi, Saints. How are you doing today? I want to thank the Most High um, again. I've already thanked him so many times today. I love him for just giving me breath, being able to speak and and to spread his word. I just want to, you know, thank him for all of his good graces and for saving me and dying on the cross for me. I'm so thankful for that. Um, I'm just asking for your prayers for my family and for my children, my family, me, myself. Um, it's been a hard road this past two months. Um, and I thank you all for your assistance and love and your prayers and um, your kind comments. And I even thank the wicked people for their wicked comments. You know, I love you all, you know. Um, and um, it's a blessing to still be here. <laughs> And um, and still be able to spread the Lord, um, excuse me, the word of Yahuwah and his son, Yahushua. I just ask that you guys keep us in your prayers. And if you find it in your heart to um, pray for us specifically, I would love that. Um, for those of you who know me. Um, because I have conversations with a lot of different saints. Uh, we talk about a lot of different subjects and um, how things could better us as a nation. Even though we're in the last days, literally, we don't know um, how things are going to turn out. But I do want to talk about my son's vision and I don't have much time to talk about his vision. Hi, how are you? And um, I want to tell you about, um, go over a little couple things that he went over. Um, I'm going to include a video down at the bottom. Um, or maybe I'll make another video about it. Um, there's going to be some kind of outbreak. Um, he basically said in his dream that um, the people that we stayed with for two weeks, and remember, if you've been watching my videos, you'll know that we had a lot of problems when we stayed with these people for two weeks, um, that it was a really trying time for us. And um, I was kept in humility a lot because um, the person that I used to be, I was always on the defense and I always, um, if you mess with my children, I mean... I mean, I wouldn't know what I would do to a person who messes with my children, you know, and I had to stay in humility for two weeks. And he was telling me how these people called and asked us if we want to come to dinner. And um, which was really weird because I would never go to their house again, ever. And um, he said... Um, that I said, yeah. And he said, they come to pick us up. We got in the car. And when we got on the highway, the, the sign was like, eh, 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 this is not a test. There has been um, an outbreak of the flu virus. And the water is contaminated. So he said, we went to their home. And we boarded up. Oh, he said when we pulled up, there was a lady. She was moving weird and she was chasing after somebody and she was moving. Her arm was twitching. And I was like, um, you remember that happened in that movie? And um, he was like, yeah, I know. It was really weird to see it because he really didn't believe when... Um, my seven-year-old, when he had his two visions about the zombies and all of this, whatever. And so um, he said that when we, when we went in, we boarded up all the windows. Now, these are the same people that says, oh, the most high, our house is protected. 
yada, yada, yada. And they got all these Indian people with big old pine cones sitting on their table in there and Medusas sitting on the wall and with just one eye. It's just really weird. With an altar and I don't know, just really weird. And um, they're very materialistic. And me and my family, on the other hand, are not. And um, he said we boarded up the windows. And he said, Mommy, this was all your idea because they didn't want to do it. And you told them, well, if you're not going to board up the windows, I think that we should just go now and me and my kids would be safe, you know, because... I already was trying to prepare them when I was there, when I was getting messages from the Most High and from his son, Yahushua, I was sharing with them the visions that I had. And I told them, I said, something's supposed to happen in the next couple weeks or so. I don't know the time frame or whatever, but you know, we need to stock up on food and everything. And I remember some of the saints had sent some donations and I took, um, most of the donations that I got, I had got, I purchased food with it. And so um, they were, the kids, the teenagers were smashing up the food, like eating it like crazy, you know, just because it's food, you know, oh, we got cereal, oh, we got milk, oh, we got this, we got that, we're just going to tear it up, you know what I'm saying? Then they leave all their dishes in the sink. And then me and my kids um, are accused when there's nothing there. But, yeah, I spent all my money there. And um, I thought I was doing the best thing that I was supposed to do. Well, back to my son's vision. He said that um, the government came. He said we were there for a while. And he said at least, at least almost a month or so. And he said that um, the government came. And they, you could hear them shooting outside and they, on a the loudspeaker, they said, oh, the coast is clear, yada, yada, yada. So I guess the father, he opened up the door. And when he opened up the door, this blue spirit, you might as well call it the reaper, and um, came and touched him or something and he fell he like it instantly killed him and they fell to the ground well he fell to the ground and when he fell to the ground um he um I guess he was hot on the outside but cold in the inside or something or it might have been the opposite way around um so yesterday I read on um, on YouTube, there was a lady, a Caucasian lady. She works at this, um, how do you say, a, a hospital or something, and she's um, a nurse. And basically, the government told every employee of the hospital and, and health care that they have to get the flu vaccine. And um, she said that there is no cure for the flu vaccine. She said every time the flu comes, it's a different strain. It's different, it's replicated and different from the last time. And so she said, so they have three different cures inside of this one thing, plus a whole bunch of ton of other stuff that even shouldn't even be there and is disgusting. She says a lot of detergents and stuff like that in there. And she said none of these immunizations are good. I don't give my kids any of these immunizations. And the one of the main requirements in any state, if you guys didn't know, when you go get public assistance, in order for you to get public assistance, they it's mandatory that your kids receive immunizations. Well, to me, it's against my religion because you should not put anything unclean in your body. And so the government's telling you that this stuff is clean. But yet when your kids take it, they're being sick for two months, getting over whatever the heck was put inside them. And you don't know what they're putting inside you. They're not giving you a list of ingredients that's in here. No, they're telling you that this is safe and you're supposed to trust them. 
So this lady, she say the feds are behind her. And you could see this black car behind her, driving behind her. And she says that she had to talk to the board of directors and all of this. And I guess she pretty much was like the only one who stood up and said that um, she's not doing this. And maybe she might do an organic one, depending on what's in it, because they offer her a solution for the organic one. And so the man told her, her boss and one of the directors, he said, well, he's never received a flu shot in his life before. And he said, but he was, um, he did it so he could keep his job. And so she said, she asked, what about other people? What's going to happen if they have an exodus at the hospital? And she, and they said, well, we were, um, thinking about wondering about that, but it looks like everyone's going to take the vaccine. Now, remember to my son's dream in the car, it was like, eh, 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 eh. this is not a test. A flu outbreak is out and you should not come in contact with no other person. The water is contaminated. So not only is the water contaminated, but there's a flu outbreak, which really is that um, if you guys remember on WikiLeaks with Hillary Clinton, her plan, um, the six step plan from um, that group that she that research group that she belongs to had did that paper and one of the things were the, was the the false rapture beam thing and then the other one was um the zika virus it says that the zika virus had the new strain of zika has been delivered now you guys can go back to wikileaks and find that yourself so they had all these lists of things to keep donald trump out of office and so it it Pretty much the whole thing was leaked. And at the bottom of the page, it says, do not distribute. Well, I guess somebody didn't get that 411 because it was released. So therefore, the Zika virus, which is stands for zombies. I don't know if you guys pay attention, but I've watched a lot of zombie shows. I watched a lot of zombie movies when I was growing up. You know what I'm saying? I've never really been one that's scared of scary movies. I've just always been a, a movie fanatic my whole life. I've watched over 10,000 movies, probably more than that. You know, I was a television show fanatic. I haven't watched shows in months now. You know, all I do is really pay attention to the word of Yahushua and his father, Yahuwah. You know, and I sometimes I glance on what saints and other saints are saying and I pretty much just post my um, my life journey on here. You guys can go back and look at the videos all the way from the beginning from when we were at shelters and they were attacking us. Cornering me and my children in a corner in the hallway, first asking us, can we go in a room? I said, no, I don't feel comfortable. Cornering us in the hallway because we went to the mayor's office because they were feeding us food. They get all these monies for families, but yet, that money that they could be getting for families, they could be giving us that family. So you telling me that they get $4,000 a month for a homeless family, but they can't give you that $4,000 so you don't have to be homeless anymore? Give me $4,000. I'll show you what to do with it. I bet you I won't be homeless no more. Guarantee. Guarantee. Because I have a plan together. Straight up, they get all this money for homeless people living in these shelters, and these shelters are there so they can watch people and their children, so they can call the children's services and get people. I've seen so many people, kids get snatched away, and we're not just talking about in, um, in Florida. We're talking about in California, in Michigan, in Wisconsin, different places. And it don't necessarily have to be a shelter. These people, the devil has his people where he can get the children. The Bible says, suffer the little children that come unto me. But y'all don't hear me though. Y'all say, oh, go take that government assistance. When they got these galantines out here ready to chop off the heads of Christians. Now don't get it twisted because I ain't scared. I'm a demon fighter. I'm, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for what they got coming. Because trust me, I ain't taking no mark of the beast. My children even tell you. I even played a scenario with them. I told them, I'm going to kill your mother and your father right now and your brothers and sisters. Take the mark of the beast. My seven-year-old said, no, I will not take this mark. Okay? I told him, I say, 
I'm going to kill you right now if you don't take the mark of the beast. He said, well, just kill me because no, you're not putting it in me. You have to teach your children. If you're not teaching your children, 